So you remember my crappy MP3 player in the video entitled China Almost Cost Me My Car. It's still here and still working. Uh, it doesn't have a battery in it anymore, obviously. And it played very nicely with old Clanky, but does not play very nicely with this car. So I'll show you what happens here. Inside here, I don't know if the camera will show it. Yeah, there it is. You can see a little cigarette lighter to USB thing with the red light on it and the aux input. So that's hooked up right here, the aux and the USB. And when I go ahead and plug in the USB to the adapter here, the stereo will make all sorts of weird sounds as soon as I can get the plug in there. Oh. So it will play the music, but it's very noisy in the background. So I've tried three different USB to cigarette lighter adapters and they all do the same thing. One in fact was so bad that this thing would actually jam up and freeze and wouldn't play. Um, the only way I can get it to work is one of two ways. One is to use a little power bank battery thing like this. You've seen these where you could charge it up with your thing and then it outputs voltage and then the MP3 player lights up. It's still plugged into the aux as we had it. And I just got to get through the menu here. And again, we'll just go through to pick something here. And the audio is absolutely crisp, no noise whatsoever. So then I also tried hooking this thing up to the cigarette lighter adapter and into this and then I outputted this into the mp3 player but I got exactly the same results. So anytime I try to power it off of one of these cigarette lighter to USB things it doesn't work. One other thing I did do is I used my power inverter then got a plug-in charger that's 120 volts the USB and tried that and again the audio was crystal clear. So it has something to do with very, very poor filtering on these cigarette lighter to USB adapters. And apparently this car, this is the exact same adapter I used on old Clanky, and it did not induce any sort of noise whatsoever. So if you have any information as to either an adapter that will work with this, or some way I could wire in, say, a filter capacitor and where in the circuit I would do that, I would greatly appreciate that. Please leave any comments or suggestions as far as combating this interesting issue in the comment section below. Thank you very kindly for watching. Make sure you click like, make sure you click subscribe, and take care. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye. See, as I scroll through uh, stuff, it goes and... Oh.